And when I look at this generation of Muslims, I actually see incredibly ambitious people. Us Muslims have so much potential. We actually have so much opportunity to change the world. And if you're watching this, you're probably the kind of person who has that potential too. And you probably have the aspiration and the ambition to do something great in the world to have a massive impact. But unfortunately, with all this potential, so many people are also wasting it. There's one mistake that literally everybody makes. No one's free from it. And the difference between you being a loser and doing nothing with your life or you being the type of person who gets everything done is just how you used your time. If you think about it, every single good thing in this life, every single accomplishment you can think of, is just behind time. I mean, the only difference between the version of you right now and the version of you who you want to be is just putting the time into the right things. If you want to become a hafil of the Quran, all you have to do is put more time into learning the Quran and revising the Quran. If you want to become a millionaire with your business, the mistake you're making is that you haven't put enough time into that business. So if you're not using your time correctly, what do you expect out of this life? Every single thing you want is just behind the door of time. And the thing is, this is even worse on the Day of Judgment. Because just think, on the Day of Judgment, how are you going to look back on this time that you're wasting? On the Day of Judgment, for some people, it's going to feel like just one day or even part of a day. And the reason why is because they accomplished so little. You really don't want your time to be the biggest regret you have on the Day of Judgment. Because at that point, you're never going to get it back. And Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah actually said that wasting time is worse than death. Because wasting time takes you away from Allah and the hereafter, whereas death, all it does is take you away from this dunya. And there are many other hadiths talking about the value of time and how many people just waste one of the greatest blessings they had. Real quick, my name is Halim. I help Muslims go from losers to winners. Check out the top link in the description if you want to end your procrastination, inshallah. Okay, so obviously you realize that wasting time is a bad thing and you need to stop. But how do you actually do it? Well, there's one mistake I see so often and I actually did this myself and it caused me a lot of trouble. What so many people do and what I did is I expected to change my life overnight. I expected to go from procrastinating, wasting hours of the day to overnight having a perfect schedule and wasting zero seconds of the entire day. But you can't do that. You can't have that expectation because I want you to think about it like this. Imagine right now, because you waste so much time and you're a chronic procrastinator, you're at level 1 when it comes to time management. And level 100 would be the situation where you waste absolutely no time in your entire day, like your schedule is perfect. If you're at level 1 and you waste hours every single day, you can't expect to hold yourself to the same standard as a level 100 person. You can't expect to magically stop having perfect days where you waste no time because you're at level 1, you have to start small. Instead, what you do is you have to lower your expectations. Instead of expecting yourself to have a perfect schedule, expect yourself to just do one extra hour of good work. Do a few extra good tasks and waste a little bit less time every single day. That's pretty much going from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 instead of jumping from level 1 to 100. And to make this super specific, you want to look at your goals and you want to reverse engineer the action you need to take to get to that goal. For example, let's say your goal is to memorize Quran. If that's your goal, then the action you need to get to that goal is two things. One, revising Quran and two, memorizing Quran. So now that you know the action you need to take to achieve that goal, you want to go out and just do that action. But don't try and do that for like five hours because you're not that good. Let's be honest. Just try and do an extra 30 minutes of memorizing Quran and that's enough. That's enough to go from level one to level two. Just take a hit to your ego and accept you probably aren't that good at this. And I mean, if you are a perfect person and you have a perfect schedule, then go ahead. Maybe you are. But most people watching this are not like that. I know I'm not like that either. So instead of going for perfection, go for small improvements. And so here's the actionable step I want you to do. Write down your goals and then write down the action it would take to lead to that goal. And now that you know the action, when you wake up tomorrow, do that first thing in the morning. And it doesn't have to be for an hour or two hours. Literally just do it for like 10 or 20 minutes. That way you make it easy on yourself and you can actually build up the habit. The reason why is because it takes about three weeks to build up a habit. So when you're building up the habit, you actually want to make it easy. You don't want to do an hour of Quran memorization every day when you're not consistent. But once you get to 10 minutes a day consistently, then you can ramp it up. Once you get better and better at the skill of time management, you can slowly start incorporating more good tasks and stop wasting less and less time every single day. But it all starts with something small and something that you can be consistent with. Otherwise, you're always just going to snap back to where you started. That's all I have for this video. Don't forget to not stop making dua to Allah. Check out Clean Islam Ushriwa in the description. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.